UFOs are strange flying objects that some people report they have seen in the sky and believe to be spacecraft from another planet. Many scientists do not believe so. They say that if people see a UFO, it might be an aircraft, a weather balloon, or a meteor. However, there is still evidence for people to believe in the existence of UFOs. In 1947, Kenneth Arnold, an experienced pilot in the USA, reported that he saw nine large round objects traveling at about 2,800 meters an hour to the left and the north of Mount Rainier. In 1952, there were more than 1,500 UFO sightings around the world. In 1954, a woman and her children believed they saw a UFO above their house. The woman said she saw two aliens in the spacecraft. In 1964, a farmer claimed he saw an egg-shaped object in one of his fields, and also aliens collecting soil samples. In 1971, Two men claimed they were captured by aliens and taken aboard a spacecraft. After being examined by the aliens, the men were freed. In 1978, a young pilot and his plane disappeared after sighting a UFO. In 1981, Renato Nicolai was living in the southeast of France and reported he saw a plate-like device at the treetop 30 meters away from his garden. UFOs are strange flying objects that some people report they have seen in the sky and believe to be spacecraft from another planet. Many scientists do not believe so. They say that if people see a UFO, it might be an aircraft, a weather balloon, or a meteor. However, there is still evidence for people to believe in the existence of UFOs. In 1947, Kenneth Arnold, an experienced pilot in the USA, reported that he saw nine large round objects traveling at about 2,800 meters an hour to the left and the north of Mount Rainier. In 1952, there were more than 1,500 UFO sightings around the world. In 1954, a woman and her children believed they saw a UFO above their house. The woman said she saw two aliens in the spacecraft. In 1964, a farmer claimed he saw an egg-shaped object in one of his fields, and also aliens collecting soil samples. In 1971, two men claimed they were captured by aliens and taken aboard a spacecraft. After being examined by the aliens, the men were freed. In 1978, a young pilot and his plane disappeared after sighting a UFO. In 1981, Renato Nicolai was living in the southeast of France and reported he saw a plate-like device at the treetop 30 meters away from his garden. A space trip. Do you want to plan for some kind of exciting trip? Do you have a million dollars? Are you a good traveler? Do you want to go somewhere? Then you can have a trip to space. If you decide to take the trip, you will have to get ready a few months before the flight. You must be in excellent physical condition. You should run a lot, swim every day, and do aerobics and push-ups. You must get a letter from the doctor that shows you are in perfect health. Once you get on the trip, you will be in a different world. You will see pictures of the earth. You may also see your country and other interesting places. You will be able to see the oceans, large rivers, and the tall mountains. You will be able to see them many times because you will orbit the earth 16 times a day. 
you will also be able to see the stars that you couldn't see from the Earth. When you are in orbit, you will be able to get out of your seat and walk in the cabin. You will be able to walk on the walls or on the ceiling like in a circus. You will not weigh anything. You will feel totally free and enjoy a wonderful feeling you have never had before. If you were on board now, you would experience those marvelous things. So do you think you will be able to take a space trip? Start to dream now, and your dream someday may come true. A space trip. Do you want to plan for some kind of exciting trip? Do you have a million dollars? Are you a good traveler? Do you want to go somewhere? Then you can have a trip to space. If you decide to take the trip, you will have to get ready a few months before the flight. You must be in excellent physical condition. You should run a lot, swim every day, and do aerobics and push-ups. You must get a letter from the doctor that shows you are in perfect health. Once you get on the trip, you will be in a different world. You will see pictures of the earth. You may also see your country and other interesting places. You will be able to see the oceans, large rivers, and the tall mountains. You will be able to see them many times because you will orbit the earth 16 times a day. You will also be able to see the stars that you couldn't see from the earth. When you are in orbit, you will be able to get out of your seat and walk in the cabin. You will be able to walk on the walls or on the ceiling like in a circus. You will not weigh anything. You will feel totally free and enjoy a wonderful feeling you have never had before. If you were on board now, you would experience those marvelous things. So do you think you will be able to take a space trip? Start to dream now, and your dream someday may come true. Good evening. Welcome to our Science for Fun program. This week we've received a lot of questions asking about life on the moon. We've talked to some experts and this is what we found out. There is no water or air on the moon. It is all silent because there is no air. Of course, there will be no music, no sounds. There are no rivers and no lakes. At night it is very cold. The temperature goes down to 151 degrees below zero. But during the day, the temperature rises to 100 degrees above zero. There are great round holes on the moon. They look like big lakes. They are called craters. There are more than 30,000 craters on the moon. There are also high mountains. The highest mountains on the moon are about 26,000 feet or 8,000 meters high. And here is something very interesting to know. On the moon, you weigh one-sixth of what you weigh on Earth. If you weigh 50 kilos, on the moon, you will weigh only a little more than 8 kilos. You will be able to jump very high, even higher than an Olympic champion. You can take very long steps as well, and maybe you won't sleep very well because one day on the moon lasts for two weeks. So, is there life on the moon? I'll leave the question for you to answer yourself. Good evening. Welcome to our Science for Fun program. This week we've received a lot of questions asking about life on the moon. We've talked to some experts and this is what we found out. There is no water or air on the moon. It is all silent because there is no air. Of course, there will be no music, no sounds. There are no rivers and no lakes. At night, it is very cold. The temperature goes down to 151 degrees below zero. But during the day, the temperature rises to 100 degrees above zero. There are great round holes on the moon. They look like big lakes. They are called craters. There are more than 30,000 craters on the moon. There are also high mountains. The highest mountains on the moon are about 26,000 feet or 8,000 meters high. And here is something very interesting to know. 
On the moon, you weigh one-sixth of what you weigh on Earth. If you weigh 50 kilos, on the moon, you will weigh only a little more than 8 kilos. You will be able to jump very high, even higher than an Olympic champion. You can take very long steps as well, and maybe you won't sleep very well because one day on the moon lasts for two weeks. So, is there life on the moon? I'll leave the question for you to answer yourself.